Yo, what's up guys? Wanna look at Bitcoin real quick, the two day chart, and I got one of my indicators up. It's like a combination indicator, right? Looking back at the previous bottoms, wanna see some kind of patterns we might have seen. Um one thing I am seeing here is that uh what the hell is my um if you look at these bottom points, right? When we had this most of the time the way the bottoms have happened, we've had this like uh you know big bounce up right like where the percentage you get like a 264 percent gain right here right um so this right here is like a 264 percent gain and on this indicator that that move up to the top range or overbought coincided with the big bounce that's usually how it's happened most of the time so we go back if we go a little bit forward uh like see some past i have all of them pretty much marked already um here we have 2015 right kind of similar um you know let's see the percentage gain here from the bottom oh this is so annoying all right so from here it's about some 87 percent right it went up 87 percent um and it coincided with uh, the top of the range, right? Going from bottom to top of the range, big bounce, 87%, right? Uh, pretty much to back test the EMAs as well. You know, 2015 is pretty similar, but that was, you know, that was just a retest right there. If you go a little bit forward here, um, let's see these other other big drops. 2018, right? 2018, I think, was a little bit different, right? In that it didn't right it went up like it was more of like a accumulation setup it only went up 36 percent right to go from uh on this indicator that i have up from going from you know like here to here was about 37 percent right and we had this big accumulation here bouncing off the emas um and we finally exploded up here just this little thing here, right? And then this little thing here, we had some big moves up. That's kind of what we want to see when the indicator barely goes up and then you know it coincides with the big move up. And then 2020 was like a really big bounce, right? Like this is like 150%. It's kind of alternating, right? So bottom to top of the range. So if you now we could go forward, look at where we're at right now, right? You know, I I think this is a wedge finish. Still uh, looks like it, and I do think that this is a. Uh, honestly, it looks kind of like a, like it's not going back down. I think it's, it's kind of this E might be like a. Like a short E, right? Because these uh, the C. And the D and the E, if it follows this pattern, the E should be getting uh, shorter, right? Just looks right to, uh, like something like that. I think is a possibility. But uh, if we look at this indicator, right, you know, we didn't have a big bounce from this move up, which is kind of not what we want to see, right? Um, but this this is forming kind of like a wedge down right here, right off the high to low 618, and this kind of looks like a, a inverse head and shoulders right here, right? So I think this thing could probably is going to break back up the top of the range here right and what we want to see is a big move up that's kind of what we want to see at least up to like 20k i think there i, I charted this before i think there's a big m there's a lot of resistance at around 20k and plus it's a psychological number so we want to kind of see a big bounce up while this indicator you know barely goes up something like that that would probably signify uh, the end of the bear market um, so that's kind of what we're looking for. Just quick update.